Hey everybody, it's Patrick with P-Dubs Crypto World again here. Just coming here because I had a lot of questions concerning about the process and the procedures for <coughs> the uh, PCW dilution um, strategy here for getting rid of your bags. So I wanted to take this time and do a step walkthrough on an actual one because I have a bag here. Um, small bag, I've only had it a couple days, AE. It's at 6% under, and it's enough that I would uh, take and put it to uh, <laughs> put it into my nice little um, strategy here and just kind of work with it. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all of our information. So I've got my spreadsheet here, and this is the uh, version 1.02, which has updated where you're going to have uh, the new coin cost and divisions here. So right now I have no information in here, so we're going to go ahead and get this information from <coughs> our profit trailer. So the first thing we're going to do is enter in our information and then get the total numbers that we need and then we will place our order and then we'll go through the process here. Uh, get rid of this OST here. I was just keeping an eye on this one right here because it looks like it might might go before long and I was going to panic sell it but there's a lot of resistance here. Somebody's currently manipulating this thing it's humorous so <clears throat> I'm going to go to the DCA log here and the first thing that we're going to look at is the total amount that I have of these which is 17.50303 so I'm going to go in here and put that in the let's see 17.50303 and next thing we're going to do is look at the coin cost and that coin cost is going to be this number down here at the bottom, <coughs> which is 0 0.004, not 1, 402402. And then it's going to populate how much we spent on buying that bag, and we're going to see it's approximate to the current value over here 7043254355. Make over here. So we're approximate. I need to update this and just make sure that this is formatted to number and eight decimal places. Five, four, five, eight. So <clears throat> now we're going to take a look and what is our percentage of loss right now? It's currently at 6.11. This is just for our own information of it's not actually calculating anything I thought about having it calculate um, into something down here but it just didn't really make sense <clears throat> so for me the total amount on this is 0 0.07 ethereum so I'm not worried about it being chopped into a lot of things so <clears throat> I'm going to actually just break it into 10 pieces here just to see what it does for us. So the dilution amount is going to break it down to about 0 .007 worth. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do that in the 15 then because I want it to be a spec in the drop in the bucket here. <coughs> so that's going to tell me what my quantity here is that I need to sell and the sell price. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to AE in my uh, my actual exchange and now that I'm here at AE we can look and I'm just gonna enter numbers so I need 16.3361 16.3361 so it won't do that so we can go 334 and now we're going to put in our price of 0 .004064 4064 but I like to round it up so it's 406426 so I'm going to call it 65 and well it looks like I just sold one out here OST sold and 
it jumped up pretty good and went back to 106, so I'm happy with that. Mid through the day, I'm still looking all right at 0.72. I'm only trading in 10 pairs right now, so. <clears throat> all right, so now I have that, and I'm going to look at the total value down here and see what it says for at this right here, 6065, and that doesn't seem right. So I want 4065. So you can see where we made a typo, or I just said something wrong. And it comes down to, I also want to make sure that I'm doing the correct, 1634. And this is at 0 .0664. And we can see here that I did not, I spent more than that originally. So my price per coin was 402, 402, so 4064. Okay, well, you see me messing up here on my math live. <laughs> zero, zero, four, oh, six, five, and I am removing a small portion of that all right so <clears throat> we can see where my one fifteenth of that is so if I took this number right here this let's see here sixteen point three six I mean three three six one six one three three and multiplied it uh, let's just say we're going to take the quantity that I'm selling and multiply it by the sell price. And that's going to come up to 663944, which is pretty close over here. So that checks out. And I want to make sure that my numbers here are good. So <clears throat> I'm going to look at the original cost here. So. I am going to add this here, so I'm going to say this plus the original cost of this amount here that I'm diluting, and it equals 7108991, which is more than the total spend up here. That that means that I am good because this sell price is one percent over. Now, what I just did there is not something you need to do. That's me checking my work to make sure my numbers are good. <clears throat> if you want to check your numbers, that's fine. I definitely recommend, but you could do see that the spreadsheet does take into account for accurate numbers on its current settings here. So now I'm going to go ahead and I have my price, my amount, and I'm going to go ahead and sell the remainder there of AE. Now, <clears throat> eventually it will come here to my pending log. Now, the only one that I'm actively working on right now in my pending log, as you can see here, is dash. I did dash, and instead of buying the coin again, and this is something I'm going to be doing now, is I have it in my dust log. And when I buy, when it, my system buys the coin again, then I will take out a, a piece there. I'm going to start running it that way on mine and see how that works for a couple weeks. So we can see here in my dash I have a little more um, than I do of the others generally. So now I'm going to go ahead and close my profit trailer which I'm just closing out the command prompt. I can go ahead and close this because it's going to force me a new one anyway. And then I will go and reopen my <clears throat> profit trailer again. This will actually make it pick up the pending order a little quicker. <clears throat> and profit trailer taking a little to come up there. So we have taken and selected our DCA for the AE. We take and put it into our calculation sheet up here in the top. Now you can see it's no longer in my DCA. 
eventually probably here in about a minute it'll show up in my pending log so AE is no longer in my active cells <clears throat> and what that's doing is it's going to allow me another pair to be populated and essentially that is going to let's see here that's going to allow me to do another one so now let's go down here and see what we need to buy of that AE so at, at its rate right now I don't need to say anything about that because it'll go in my pending log and then the sales log will resemble uh, let's see down here my dust log will eventually resemble the uh, amount that I have left let's see it'll probably be down in here here's AE and you can see I've got a larger amount here so the total amount that I am actually doing is 1.668 and you can see that my dust here is more than that one point or let's see 1.17 and 1.16 so yeah it is figured into my dust right now so eventually when I buy another one of these it will go through and we can see now where it hit the pending log here at a fixed price sell and that's including the one percent over so you can see <coughs> where it was at 6.11 percent originally it's now at 785 so when it hits it you're gonna make profit when it hits that pending order the only thing is that profits not gonna show in your in your profit trailer so now let's get to um, going and we are going to pick up the extra pair here because we know it is down that much and you I suggest waiting till profit trailer buys it again or you can turn off all your pairs and make that one of the one that it automatically buys next it all depends if you're trying to single it out maybe you got six of them that you want to get rid of and you just turn only those six on so it buys those and not all the other coins because I got 63 possibilities here Look, XLM is going to be buying that one there, so maybe I can get this done beforehand. All right, <clears throat> so now I'm going to come in here, and I diluted it by 15. So 15 times is what I cut it into. Now I'm, I want to see how many times do I want to multiply it by. So I want this one drop of the dust to how many parts of the new order? Well... I've now implemented it to where you can see what the cost of it all will be. So, let's go ahead and say right now that we are going to dilute it by 10. We're only going to buy 10 times as much. So, that is going to say that we are going to buy it by 10. And now we need to look at a price per coin. So, let's go and look at the pairs law no we're look at the sales log here sorry pending a lot of things on my head right now and we can see it daughter in the background we can see it at four that the current price is thirty seven seven nine zero zero so we are going to go and put that in here as our current price at zero point zero zero three seven seven nine zero zero and now that's going to say that if we want to go ten times the the amount that we are delight diluting then it is going to be at this price It's going to cost us <coughs> a total of point zero four five and then with the um, actual amount that we diluted it the total value of it would be point zero four eight but I generally make my bags in the price range of about 0 0.07 right now just on based on my percentage so I feel like I can let's see what it would do with 15 15 would put it closer to my my actual um, bag value and that's because I chopped it into 15 pieces up here so basically I'm taking the other 14 and replacing it with a lower percentage rate now so let's look at this at 10 again <clears throat> at 10 it tells us the new coin average cost is going to be 380 127 
and that we are 0.58 percent, 0.58 of a percent drop when we go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go with the 15, and it's going to be 0.4 drop. Well, to me, that's not really a big deal. So I will go ahead and dilute it by 15 just to keep with my total bag value here. Now I am going to go ahead and go to my, not tracker, but my ETH here where I'm going to place a sale order. Now the spreadsheet's only giving me an estimate here because this isn't the actual price that I'm going to get it at, but you get what I mean. So let's go ahead and look and my new coin average cost is going to be 0 0.00379 and that's if I get it at 77900 but I do want to see that I want to buy 17.50303 so let's go here and say I'm going to buy 17. Point, what was that 3503 50303 50303 and then it's going to tell me what my price is here at this rate so it's going to say I got to do 17.5 so that's fine because we're only approximating numbers and I don't want to pay 815 but I'll say I'll pay 800 at that price and see if I can't get it to uh, initiate a buy here well nope so I'm putting in my buy order at 17.5 and hopefully we don't get jumped over a few times and somebody will take our our buy order here and why it's doing that we're waiting for that to go through we're gonna take and we're going to take and go and uh, let's see here. We are going to enter in our information and record it because now we are doing this is for AE ETH and the number of coins is this information up here. So this right here is not necessary. So 17.503030. 0 0.004024 I mean 402 scatter brain today 0 0.004069550 and we broke it into 15 and we have not sold it any yet so we are going to take drive this down here I'm eventually going to have this sell price from from the other side. <laughs> so it'll be, well, I can't have it from the other side because it'll be permanently linked. So you'll have to enter in your sell price. I'll put it up here so it can be seen. Actually, let's just go ahead and say sell price. And then I'm going to... And that's going to be one of the, another one of those critical things here that we will add. As you can see, some the the spreadsheet's a little thing in, in process. So now I can go ahead and put my and now I can go ahead and save it because I have all the relevant information that I need to. <clears throat> and it does look like my sell order was filled here and now it's just a matter of time till it shows up in uh, in my profit trailer as a, another bag so I'm gonna go ahead and close profit trailer again and I'm gonna give it a moment because I want to make sure that it is bringing it up and pulling and saying hey we have this new pair <clears throat> and waiting, watching the clock. It's not quite four o'clock, but <laughs> uh, a little pearl jam. All right, now we're gonna 
wait for it to all update we see it's updated my balance here it's at 455 which means that I've and it's showing from my all this is now missing what I had made so we'll wait for the possible by log the pairs log and the DCA log to update so we now see there's seven pairs in here and one pair that is in here and then there's one in the DCA here so the dilution the price per now is three seven nine two well three seven six nine now it's dropped quite a bit since so you're automatically losing 0.25 for the buy order and then by the time you add that additional price in there you are dropping your percentage down so it is at 0.4 percent so you're automatically at a 0.65 so let's look and see what the average bid price was on this three eight six four eight two let's see so it was a little higher than the new average cost here three eight six so here we let's take a look at our buy price and I can update that to see what we actually did so our buy price was at thirty eight hundred uh, let's see here there we go thirty eight hundred well and that gave us an average coin of three eight one four hundred well Three eight one four hundred. So that is off a little there. Well, you see how it gets figured here. So now that you see the whole process of going through this to create that, you see how it's done. I'm obviously going to go in here and reverse the math on all of this to um, make sure my calculations are correct on my price drop here because we can see here uh, some fun stuff I had to wrap my head around trying to get that figured out a little earlier too so one of the gentlemen in the uh, Richie I believe had a method that he was gonna recommend and uh, I'm gonna give this a shot um, definitely join the discord you have questions or ways that I can improve this spreadsheet join on here it's growing like all the time like you see people joining in here just since I've 616 you one two three more people so these are people that are wanting to use these and I want to make sure that I have the best resource available for all of you and myself because obviously that was a one one and a half percent jump difference than anticipated now I'd rather kill a two percent than a six and a half percent bag but <clears throat> you can see when you dilute bigger numbers you have to take it into account for bigger spans of diluting them so I will fix that on the sheet here for the percentage drop this is just a reference anyway but it'll allow you to see more realistic I'll get that fixed so you have an idea but the rest of it works the way that it should and I won't I won't put this out there until that's fixed anyway and then just make sure you keep all of this information on here and then for things that you're sending to pending order but you are not diluting always make sure you keep this is a nice little log I put in here so you can keep track of it and it'll automatically populate what the 1% over is so you just take and put your information in here and it'll populate what the 1% over is for you to sell so uh, if you found this useful I, I apologize I hope I'm not as scatterbrained this time as normally because this is kind of my third video on it but this I wanted to walk you through the order and what you need to consider when you are placing the order um, hopefully you found this useful like and subscribe if you haven't already 
join the Discord channel, you have access to this file and the rest of the files, including the PowerPoint, which I'll probably update the PowerPoint this weekend with the new step procedures. Um, <clears throat> but just use it to kind of get you out of out of some bags. You know, I've seen some pretty pretty big bags in the. <laughs> I've seen some big DCA bags in the last few days, and if this can help you to save from having to cut your losses, well, that's going to save you money because you aren't always going to get that money back as easy and as quickly as you think you are. When this method means that you are going to make a new order sell price on top of gaining sell price on your old portion of the bag. So you are not just clearing your bag, you are making money on it just over time. So hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you in the Discord. Alright, thanks. Okay, I just wanted to update everybody. I went over my information and uh, I checked my numbers and they're good. This is just an update because I did reach out to the guy at the Profit Trailer to ask him about it. Why? I'm coming up with a different number for my cost average on all those um, different the the shard the little fragment of dust and the new order and the explanation is that they actually have to um, the way their program calculates the average is over a certain amount so even though I have this new coin well, actually the old coin and it's all set at this one price and then I chop a piece of it off at that price and I sell the other stuff off at that same price and I have this coin that's at this price and I'm adding in the new one at a new price and I'm doing my cost average of this and this profit trailer actually looks at the new coin price and history data for the old coin purchases, not what the actual DCA total amount is. So it is important. The information that you got in the bottom, it is accurate. When you do this method and the strategy, the information you get in the red, um, the new price and the new percentage drop you are going to want to hot configure and manually enter that for your price because if not it's going to read off like that was about a percentage and a half so when I did hot configure that I already sold that bag out here about an hour later so by setting the price of the coin at what is located in the bottom that you actually come up with with these calculations because my calculations are right and the formula is correct then it will give you your coin spawned at that certain price that is correct so make sure you hot configure and set the price if you need to it is listed on the wiki for the PT on how to hot config and put the um, bot the buy price in there so thank you very much and we'll talk to you next time